Hey, welcome back to the channel for more stock market news updates. So get ready because we have a lot of news to cover today. Returning to work wasn't easy for any of us, and even investors felt the pressure as they rushed to sell off stocks on the first day of the shortened trading week. However, one sector that defied the odds and went against the grain was none other than the crypto market. Bitcoin skyrocketed to its highest price since early May. What triggered this surge, you ask? Well, a renowned crypto exchange backed by heavyweights like Charles Schwab, Fidelity Digital Assets, and Citadel Securities just announced that it's open for business called EDX Markets, or EDX for short. Also, if you have student loan debt, then listen up. The Education Department dropped the bombshell recently, stating that starting in October, student loan repayments will resume, which is great news for student loan refinancers like SoFi Technologies. Analysts are estimating that borrowers will collectively shell out a whopping $5 billion to $10 billion each month for their student loans, so there is a huge market here. For macroeconomic news, we have Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell set to testify before Congress, and you won't believe what he has in store for us. In his prepared remarks, Powell revealed that nearly all Fed officials are gearing up to raise interest rates again this year. The reason for more interest rate hikes is because the Fed wants to get inflation under control. Despite a slight moderation, inflation is still running high. On the bright side, there are signs of the job market finding a better balance, with an increase in labor force participation, easing wage growth, and a drop in job vacancies. Powell emphasized that the Fed will make interest rate decisions based on data, evaluating crucial reports on jobs and inflation, as well as keeping an eye on bank earnings, before their next policy meeting at the end of July. Despite the Fed's decision to hold off on raising rates at their recent meeting, they did update their interest rate forecasts for this year, hinting at the possibility of rates reaching as high as 5.6%. That means we could see two more rate hikes before the year wraps up, which is why three officials even envision rates rising closer to a staggering 6%. It's a bold move, but as Powell mentioned, now that we're closer to the peak rate, the Fed can afford to take it slow and allow the economy more time to adapt. The committee didn't discuss adopting a strategy of hiking rates every other meeting, but one thing is for sure. After today's meeting, the upcoming July meeting is expected to be a live one. In fact, the markets are currently pricing in an almost 80% chance of a rate hike. But what does this mean for housing prices? Residential construction stocks have been absolutely crushing it this year. Just take a look at the S&P 500 Home Builders Select Industry Index, which has soared a jaw-dropping 26% since the start of 2023, leaving the broader S&P 500's 15% gain in the dust. Home builder confidence has been on a roll, rising for a whopping six months in a row, according to a survey by the National Association of Home Builders. It's clear that the housing market is in full swing, and there's no sign of it slowing down. In fact, the annualized rate of permitting for future construction increased by 5.2% in May compared to April. That's a strong indication that the home momentum will continue to surge throughout the summer. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, MBA, the average 30-year fixed mortgage rate in the United States has seen a slight decrease dropping to 6.73% last week from 6.77%. It may seem like a small change, but every little bit counts when it comes to homeownership and real estate investments. Now let's shift gears and talk about a billionaire's perspective on the market. We've got none other than Steve Cohen, the owner of the New York Mets and founder of Point72 Asset Management. This savvy investor is feeling optimistic about the market going up, and he's got a valid reason. While Wall Street investment banks and economists have been waving the recession flag for a while now, the economy has proven to be resilient despite challenges like stubborn inflation and aggressive interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve. Top investors like Steve Cohen believe it's time to dive back into the markets, even if the economic outlook remains uncertain. Cohen emphasizes the big wave of opportunity presented by AI and encourages investors to focus on it rather than getting caught up in recession fears. AI is not just a buzzword, it's making a real impact on stocks. Tech giants like Microsoft and Alphabet, which owns Google, have been quick to adopt AI and their stocks have soared as a result. 
For instance, Microsoft invested a whopping $10 billion into OpenAI, and their stock has skyrocketed by around 50% since then. Alphabet faced some concerns initially, but their stock bounced back with the release of BARD, their AI technology. It's up approximately 35% now. Also, Google's very own YouTube, a powerhouse in the tech world, is diving into the world of live commerce with its first ever shopping channel set to launch in South Korea on June 30th. YouTube is taking the online shopping experience to a whole new level. The AI revolution is not just a hunch. It's backed by industry leaders, partnerships, and influential figures. Cohen's investment strategy, as seen in SEC filings, shows his stakes in AI-associated companies like NVIDIA and Intel. Kathy Wood, CEO of ARK Invest, is another AI believer, foreseeing enhanced worker productivity and reduced costs in the next decade. And Goldman Sachs senior economist Ben Snyder shares the confidence, expecting AI to boost U.S. corporate profits by a staggering 30% or more. The power of AI is undeniable. Studies show that AI tools, such as language models, significantly enhance productivity in various occupations. Software engineers code up to twice as fast with AI assistance, and writing tasks are completed in half the time. But wait, that's not all. Brace yourselves for the shopping extravaganza known as Prime Day. Amazon, the titan of e-commerce, has just announced that its highly anticipated 2023 Prime Day event will be held on July 11th and 12th. Mark your calendars, folks, because it's going to be two full days of unbeatable deals and jaw-dropping discounts. Get ready to snag some incredible bargains. Now let's talk about Tesla, the electrifying force in the automotive industry. Barclays, a prominent financial institution, has made a significant move by downgrading Tesla's rating to equal weight from overweight. However, hold on to your seats because there's a twist. Barclays has actually raised its price target for Tesla to $260 from $220. It's a bit of a mixed bag, but it shows that Tesla is still making waves and attracting attention in the market. If you want more stock market news update videos, go and press the like button, comment down below your favorite news story from the video, and subscribe for more updates. Happy investing!